Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the bump offset node. I've gone ahead and created this quick little example here. First of all, let's go over what bump offset is. Bump offset is basically the Unreal Engine 4 term for parallax mapping. It's the ability to give a material the illusion of depth without actually adding additional geometry. Now this isn't the let me pull it up. Sorry about that. And that was an instant, so that's not going to work. This is not using something like world displacement. This is using faking, basically, without adding extra geometry to give you something that's more of a, a physical look. So if we were to look at these two brick walls here, it kind of looks like we have a little bit of depth in the cracks with shadowings, and the lighting affects it slightly. And that's because we're using buff offsetting. Now, the bump offset node, let me actually go ahead and pull that up now, has three inputs. We have our coordinate input, height input, and our height ratio input. Coordinate input is our standard coordinate input if we're using an alternate UV texture coordinate system. The two that are unique to bump offset are the height and height ratio input. Now if we can go ahead and unhook these, you're going to find the only required one is going to be our height. Generally the height is going to be something like a grayscale map or something where the darker value is farther away and the lighter values are closer to you. So your lighter values are going to stand out, they're going to protrude, and your darker values are going to be recessed. If we were to pull up our texture sample here, what we're going to be using is our green channel. So let me pull up our green channel here. And this is our green channel. So as you can see here, our white values we want pushed out like bricks and our gray values we're going to want recessed in. So we want the illusion of our bricks having depth. So if we go ahead and pump our green channel into our height right here, it's going to use that as the bump offset for our texture coordinate system. Now the other option is our height ratio input which we're going to go ahead and set to the default of 0 0.05 and we'll go ahead and hook this up. And this is going to be our result that we see on our left side once it finishes compiling. We're going to get this effect here. Now if you notice when we get very close to it, this is an issue with bump mapping. You're going to get some distortion. It looks very, very weird. Farther away, it looks fine. We get a little bit of an effect. It looks kind of like we've got some bricks there, and it doesn't look too bad. But if you get really close, bump maps, bump offsetting, parallax mapping has this slight issue. Now we can adjust that. If I go ahead and I go into my nodes again, and I pull up my material instance that I've set up, I've gone ahead and set up a few variables so that we can actually play with it. At least I thought I did. Okay. Did I? Oh, I forgot to hook this back up. There we go. See? Helps if we actually pay attention. So anyways, what I was going to show you was this second input. This is our height ratio input. Now, Unreal Epic recommends value ranges of 0 0.02 to point 0.1, very small adjustment values. And I've gone ahead and set my sliders here to those small values. So now if I'm going ahead and I open up my instance, I put on my other screen to adjust, we're gonna see what happens when we adjust our values. This is our lowest value, 0 0.02, and as I adjust it, you're gonna see it kind of pushing the wider areas forward up to our one value. But of course you get this really weird effect when you're up close. And if I lower it, we're going to get less of an effect when we're up close. So this is what our height ratio multiplier does. It basically will push forward our lighter areas and pull back our darker areas. But it's intended to have a very small effect. You only wanted a small value. This is 0.02. This is 0.1. Something around, you know, the smaller values of here, like maybe a 0 0.03 or 0 0.02, gives us a decent effect depending on how far this is. If this is a road, for example, and you're looking at it from player height, you might not have an issue. You're never going to get close. 
So there's two of them here. The other option we have on the bump offset is going to be this reference plane, which unfortunately and annoyingly is not an input. Now the reference plane basically, the higher the reference plane determines if when we play with our bump offsetting, if we're driving it forward or we're driving it backwards. So on our left hand side here, let me pull up my other instance. On the left hand side I have one instance and on the right hand side I have the other instance. I'm going to reset both of these back to the same values of 0 0.02. The only difference is my left one has a bump offset reference plane of 0 and my right one has a buff offset if I can pull it up to show you. Where is it at? Here we go. Reference plane of 1. That's going to be our only difference. This is going to see our reference planes. And for the most part, you're not going to see much of a difference. If we look here, you can kind of see a seam. And that's more because the one on the left is pushed out and the one on the right is pushed in. Now, if we go and adjust this up to our maximum value on the left, you're going to see our values push out. If we adjust the one on the right, you're going to see our values push in. So that's basically what your reference plane is going to do. If it's got a, a high value, a 1 for example, when you adjust your ratio input, it's going to kind of pull it in. If you have a low value, a 0, and you adjust your ratio, it's going to push it out. Now by default, Unreal ships with 0.5, which is dead in the middle as a compromise. That's going to give us our left one here. Once it finishes compiling, we're going to see what it looks like compared to 1. And then we will go ahead and reset the height ratio down to the default value. And there is our default on the left hand side. And if we adjust our ratio, you can see how it's pushing and pulling depending on where you're looking at it. If you're looking at it from the close side, far side, close away, far away. So to summarize, the bump offset node has the three inputs. Basically the height and the height ratio input determine how much you're going to offset it and how, how much the white and black values are going to affect how much it goes in or out. It is a very, very specific and art directed tool to use if you're going to use a bump offset and you want to try to use very small values for your height ratio input. Every single texture is going to require individual usage. Now, I did not mention it, but it should be pretty simple from here. Basically, your bump offset is going to output texture coordinates, which you could then put into, for example, your texture samples, and that would output your color or your normal map. It's going to affect those textures and if they're going to be looking like they're basically offset or inset. So that's what our bump offset does. It's used to add depth and you can think of it as parallax mapping, which is another term. If there are any questions or comments, please leave them below.